Warriors, welcome. Today, we are out in nature, loving that vitamin D, listening to the creek in the background, and sending a tremendous amount of love and awakening to humanity. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for your time, your trust, and your support. Today is about the three symptoms that I'm recognizing the most within people right now going through quarantine. I would love for you to comment below and tell me if you're experiencing these symptoms right now and what you've done to overcome them if in fact you've come through them. The first symptom that I'm going to discuss is dizziness. When I'm talking about dizziness, I'm talking about a sense of being off balance. Like, whoa, you know, like I'm in the shower, but if I really don't focus hard enough, I may slip and fall, that kind of feeling. With dizziness, I'm talking about the feeling of seeing through a fog. Like you're looking at something, but you just can't seem to focus your attention long enough on that thing to be able to do what you want to do with that thing. And so it's like element after element, something is getting in the way of me trying to focus on one particular thing. As well, you feel disoriented. A total disorientation from moment to moment in your life. I've been there. I can also tell you that not only can this symptom of anxiety disappear, but this entire identity can disappear. Who you believe you are and what you believe you deserve in this world can all change. Here's how. If you're experiencing this symptom, the biggest reason I've found is because of a lack of structure and direction in one person's life. You have no direction right now. You're circling, going around and around, trying things, attempting things, but never truly committing to those things out of fear. If I truly commit, and if I fail, and I can't look myself in the eyes again, if I truly commit and I succeed, that may scare me as well because my human potential scares me. That's what a lot of people think. And so they revert back to this world of fear and comfort zones and safety because the idea of full commitment comes with too much sacrifice. But I urge you, warrior, to create a structure morning, afternoon, and evening. A structure based around what I talk about in my latest book, the mindset, reframing, and responding in the moment of fear and anxiety. If you can create a structure around those three components and find direction in your life saying, this is who I am and this is what I want to do to contribute to humanity. Watch what happens to your dizziness. The second symptom that I've recognized is memory loss. I've been in this place of memory loss. It feels like you have an awful short-term memory. Where the heck did I put my keys? What did I eat this morning? What am I supposed to do right now? Right? It's like that short-term memory doesn't exist. At least that what, that's what it feels like. And it's like these people experience quick overwhelm during simple tasks. For example, you may be having dinner with your wonderful family. Favorite dinner. You're eating. And all of a sudden, there's a conversation going on. And you just can't seem to engage in that conversation and eat at the same time. It's too much work. At least, that's what it feels like to someone experiencing depletion in their nervous system and traumatic experiences in their past that they have not resolved yet. This feeling of memory loss comes with slow thinking. 
slow thinking. Wow, I just can't seem to put words together. I can't even seem to put thoughts together, right? It must be something physically wrong with me. It's a disease, an illness. A lot of people from here take on the disorder called health anxiety. But let me give you the main reason for why this may be present in your life right now, along with the unresolved stuff from your past. The main reason is this. There is an over-dependence on others and little self-reliance. If you're experiencing memory loss, you know what the best thing you can do is? Make your bed. You wake up in the morning, make your bed. Begin proving to yourself that you can be self-reliant rather than experience dependency anxiety. Because warrior, what's gonna happen is your memory will come back because you feel like you are worthy of change. As I mentioned earlier, people that go through anxiety stay in anxiety because anxiety is a place of comfort for a lot of people. It's a place of such habitualness that the idea of changing comes with so much uncertainty and sacrifice that they're not willing to go there. It's the world of the unknown. But let me tell you something. In 10 years from now, if these symptoms and these unresolved traumas continue to accumulate in the mind-body, what's going to happen? Is that what you want? If I can create enough pain within you, if I can get you on your knees to say, I am done with these symptoms and I am making a choice to commit to healing once and for all and awakening, for goodness sake, taking the red pill rather than living by taking the blue pill, everything's gonna change. The third symptom that I'm recognizing in people right now is extreme fatigue. Do you go through this? Extreme fatigue. It's a low feeling. It's not really depression, right? For most people, it kind of go in and out of that depression, but it's a feeling of being low, tremendous amount of lack of energy, a lack of zest, always tired no matter what. Does this sound like you? Now, here's the biggest reason that I've found for this extreme fatigue. There's a mindset that's wrong. A mindset of fighting and struggling through life. These people have fought, 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 fought to the point of a depleted, exhausted, and overwhelmed nervous system. They have fought so much that when they experience trauma, they don't even realize that it's a traumatic event. And so we have to understand something here, that life can be lived without fighting. Life can be lived with acceptance, Life can be lived in a flow state, a feeling of effortlessness, and you don't have to struggle through life anymore. Just because you struggled in your past doesn't mean that you're gonna struggle in the present and in the future. You can change everything starting right now, but more than anything, the thing that has to change in terms of extreme fatigue, is your mindset. Warriors, I love you all. I urge you all to not just know what to do on this path of healing, but to walk the path with me each and every day, creating that self-discovery, 
Sometimes healing can be messy, and that's fine. We will embrace the messiness. Sometimes healing will be unfamiliar and a certain amount of unknown that comes with it. We will embrace it together. We will go to that place that we haven't really experienced lately, and we will say, this vulnerable feeling holds the key to my freedom. If I can just do something different in this moment of sensitivity. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. If you haven't gotten my latest book, F Coping, Start Healing, please head over to Amazon and begin studying this book now. It is the most important anxiety read of the year. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Thank you.